What's up everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul. And yeah, if you're a long time viewer of my channel, intro's a little bit different, I just jumped into this because new information came out about the Zoe Quinn situation and Alec Holoka who sadly took his own life and it's, it bums me out. Like this is such, such an awful, awful story. So those of you who don't know Zoe Quinn weeks ago came out with allegations against Alec Holoka. They were dating. She said he was emotionally abusive. There was even some sexual abuse tossed in there as well. And yeah, cancel culture came after him and he was fired from his job. He was a game developer and he took his own life. Well, yesterday I did a video, many others did a video. Um, an article came out from Anna Slats from the Post Millennial showing some old tweets from Zoe Quinn that made it questionable of, you know, how, like, was, was that relationship, you know, really abusive? Like, she was painting a much different picture. Like, her tweets were, you know, saying, like, you know, that they were, you know, having a great time together. They were in love with each other. They were supporting one another and working on projects together. They even did podcasts together, and it painted this whole different story. And something I talked about yesterday, which... I'll, I'll say again, and this is just from a, a history of working with literally thousands of people who, you know, have struggled with, you know, trauma and things like that. Like, it's not, it's not a good way to gauge to be like, okay, well, they were putting on a happy face out here, so nothing was going on, right? But what I, what I talked about was, you know, we know, we know Alec had admitted to screwing up. He admitted, you know, that he used to have a lot of issues and he was working on himself and that was that's what's so sad about this story but uh the new article that just came out from anna slats i'm gonna link it down in the description again for you to check out it's awful man so basically um after this story kind of blew up somebody messaged uh the author of that article anna slats and sent a bunch of dms and they kept anonymous but it was dms with alec from 2014 and Alec was talking with somebody about his relationship with Zoe Quinn and it's a it's a much different story and we need to talk about this because this is something that we see just constantly when it comes to toxic abusive relationships but anyways it looked like you know Alec wasn't wasn't the only one, you know, who may have been abusive in this relationship. It looked like Zoe Quinn was as well. So the first thing I want to talk about is this, like in the current state that we're in, like calling people out with this intent on like ruining them is just so awful and disgusting, right? Like, I am a recovering addict and alcoholic. I've had, you know, my own, you know, traumatic past and dealt with, you know, suicidal thoughts and everything like that. And, you know, t today is, you know, National Suicide Awareness uh, Prevention Day and everything. And like, I believe in us sharing our stories to inspire others. And it's difficult because when you look at like what Zoe Quinn did and blasted this out on Twitter, which led to Alec taking his own life, it's, it's messed up because people should share their stories, but what's the intention? Like, what's the motivation behind it? Like, something that I've had to do just throughout, you know, my clean time these last seven years is whatever I'm doing is like, what is my motive? Why am I doing this? Am I doing this to help others? Am I doing this for personal gain? Or am I doing this to destroy someone, right? And when we have the motive to help others or inspire others, then yeah, you know, like it, it, it becomes a tricky situation. But the, the sad part about this is, is especially with public figures, like I know a lot of you who are watching this situation unfold more, like a lot of you know about what happened with pro Jared and Heidi, right? And it's just like, fuck man, like, why is this being put out there in the public? Like, why? Why is this? Like, and it's just, it's just such a, like, a bummer to see 
everybody acting like this because everybody can sit behind their keyboards or their computer screens and act like they haven't had a shitty relationship or a bad breakup before. But we all get to sit back and judge, you know, these other people who are going through it publicly. And it's like, dang, like I can't even imagine. And there's just such a lack of empathy, right? Like whenever one of these stories comes up, people choose sides and then whichever side you choose, then a bunch of people go and they attack the other side and that person and everything. And, you know, pro Jared made it out on the other side to clear up his name, but Alec lost hope really quickly and took his own life. And, you know, I am going to reach more viewers than I am influencers, but like, I wish influencers would leave some of this private shit just offline because it's nobody's business. And the, the, the criticism of Zoe Quinn that's been coming up is if what she was saying was true, it should have gone to the authorities, not, not the first step, the first resort being blasting it on Twitter, right? But for all of you in the audience, like, just, just look at, look at what, what's going on. Like, I sit here and I wonder, like, when we look at how we lost Etika, right, a couple months ago, I ask myself, I always ask myself, the people who were spamming Etika with clown emojis and photoshopping him, you know, as a clown and things like that, I ask myself, I'm like, do any of those people feel bad, right? Do they feel any remorse that Etika took his life afterwards, right? I, I, I wonder about that because as, as people, like unless you're like a complete psychopath, like you, you feel bad about shit, you know what I mean? So when I look at these situations, like there were people just blasting Alec, all right? And again, I don't think many people think he was 100% innocent. It sounds like it was a mutually abusive relationship, but the people who were just going after Alec, like, do these people feel bad? One of the biggest questions I have is like, the, the game developers, like the, the studio that fired him, like, do they feel bad? Like, imagine, imagine, imagine you losing your job over a breakup, right? Like, imagine your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend coming in and talking to your boss. Like, how fucked is that? You know what I mean? So I look at the employer who fired Alec over this, like that is bananas. It is crazy to me how people don't sit back and assess the situation and say, okay, should we? And I've talked about this before. I get it because part of it is with the, the current climate, especially online, the mob goes after the company and says, you need to do something. You need to get rid of this person. And companies are more likely to appease the, the consumers who are putting money in their pocket than they are to back their own employees. I think the only time, the only time I can think of when people rallied behind somebody being accused of some bullshit was James Gunn from Guardians of the Galaxy, the director of that. And the, the cast came and rallied behind him and said, this is messed up, right? But other than that, like, it's, it's crazy to me to see employers, like it's bad enough that the, the hate mob online, just angry fucking people in the world are just going after people. But to see an employer not like have the back of somebody is just mind blowing, right? But here's, here's the thing, like we need to, we need to understand that like so many of these things, so many relationships are, are mutually toxic, you know? And to see Zoe Quinn blast that out there in front of everybody is insane. But when you read through this article, this new article, um, you see the fear that Alec was in. And listen, it's something that I, <laughs> I don't even wanna talk about. I hate talking about it. But yeah, today with it being National Suicide Prevention Awareness Day, there have been a lot of articles being spread around and stuff like that where like the suicide rates of men is extremely high. And I hate talking about that because listen, even though I'm half black, I look white. 
And as far as people who got it good on planet Earth, it is white men. White men got it really fucking good, all right? So because white men or guys like me who look white have it so good, it's hard to talk about the fact that suicide rates are so damn high with men, all right? It's so hard. But when you read Alex's conversation, this was around the time that Gamergate was going on and he was debating on coming forward with his story. And just because of the climate, like he couldn't do that. He couldn't do that. And it fucking sucks because I, I know so many women, you know, my, I, my best friends are, you know, women. I have best friends who are men too. And just, I, I know, I know what women have gone through from what they've told me right and it fucking sucks it blows my mind i can't imagine just getting random dick pics on my phone right i can't imagine being scared to walk down the street by myself there's so many things right but we need to find this this balance because there are certain groups that are just classifying you know all these dudes as bad dudes and don't get me wrong there are so many douchebag dudes out there but it sucks that guys are afraid to come forward and talk about these things. Like I've talked about it a few times on my channel just because I'm really open and I, I share my story to help others. But I have been in many abusive relationships, right? And I wasn't 1000% innocent. Like I have, you know, had women say the most awful things and just emotionally and verbally abuse me. Like I had no self-esteem. I was a drug addict, alcoholic. I would take whatever I would get. I would have women in my life who would just berate me and talk down to me and all these other things, right? And I'd say some shitty things back and all this. I was just a hot mess and I was dating hot messes, right? And it's something that, that can happen to both men and women. And like, the thing is, it's like, we just like, we gotta get out of those relationships. We gotta go to therapy. We gotta break those patterns and everything. Like, but man, for all the guys out there watching this, I, I just wanna say like the answer, the answer is not being angry at women, all right? And you know, it's, it's this thing where we gotta work together and find common solutions. But just sitting in this black and white thinking saying all people are this way or you know this person's just automatically shitty and all these things like we have to get down to the little nuances and have conversations and i don't see the sad part is i don't see us going backwards right but i hope like when i say going backwards i mean like from the reactionary kind of climate that you see on the internet but like, I'm hoping that just making videos and talking about this stuff, like, I just hope some people just pause, like pause for a one fucking second and appraise the situation. Just say, okay, is there evidence that this is true? Is there a chance that this might not be true? Should I engage in this? Should I not? Like, you guys, we are not designed, like nobody on earth would ever tell you, hey, it's a good idea to run purely off emotions and get rid of logic. Nobody would ever say that. Like when you run off emotions, terrible shit happens, all right? This is why we need to pause. So before you go to start talking shit to people who have been accused of something, like sit back because like, not everybody's intentions are pure. And I'll, I'll finish with this. From day one, since I've been covering this story, I do not, I don't know if Zoe Quinn is lying. We know from Alex's own statements before he passed away and his sisters that some of this stuff was true. There are other people who know Alec had emotional regulation issues, right? But the issue is, is that we didn't know both sides. If both sides would have came out, this story would have looked way more different. Um, more people would have probably rallied behind Alec when it first happened. You know what I mean? I'm sure there are many people who would have still sided with Zoe and said, oh, that piece of shit, he should have just, you know, whatever. But, um, 
But yeah, like do yourself a favor and please read those messages. Like we have to start empathizing with people a little bit more. And something I talked about yesterday is hurt people hurt people, all right? Like I, I run a commentary channel where I talk about all sorts of subjects. I don't think that we should live in this like fairy tale world where we should never criticize people. But like, we need to be able to have conversations without it turning into these angry mobs, like, because shit like this happens. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's gonna happen to Zoe Quinn, but this is all really, really messed up. Like, I don't know if there should be legal action or what. Like, I don't know, but people really need to understand the power they have when it comes to posting things online, especially people with such a big following, man. Especially people with such a big following. But anyways, check out the article from Anna down in the description below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.